I know I didn't mention them all. There are a lot of other host providers and a lot of them also provide great quality uh, benefits, great quality features, but they just did not make my list this go round. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are all you right, ready? family, welcome to another episode. As you all attended the last episode, which is part one of us breaking down a podcast host provider and or a podcast distribution platform. So today we're going to dive in and I'm going to share with you what host provider that I decided to go with. What host provider I decided to tie the knot with. Okay, so are you ready? I hope you are because I got some uh, facts and I got some tidbits that I'm going to share through the process to hopefully help you navigate through which one makes the most sense for you. All right. And also, let me just make this be known um, at the bottom of the show notes. I'm going to have affiliate links for some of these host providers, right? Because just because I didn't pick them doesn't mean that I don't believe in them. And if you feel the need to go with them based on maybe what I shared or what the facts that I say, I would encourage you just to hit that affiliate link because if you do, then I will get like a small kickback, but it's not going to cost you any more or any less, but I would just appreciate it. You know, you can support the creator and support the show, especially if I introduce you to them. But anyway, enough about me. So first and foremost, I want to just go down the line because we narrowed it down to four host providers. Okay. So number one was Buzzsprout. Then we're looking at Podbean. Then we're also looking at Red Circle. And then lastly, we're looking at Captivate. And I'm going to break down to you today why I chose the one that I chose and also a little bit of information about each. So let's dive in. So first things first, Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout's platform is one that's geared towards beginners, right? Beginners and people who aren't taking podcasts as serious or as like for sport. Like they're really, really dialed in and they want to like, you know, be able to do this for the long haul. Here are a few uh, pros and cons about Buzzsprout. So Buzzsprout is is very easy to use, right? Um, You just upload your podcast file and they'll do the rest for you. Offers a lot of features and there's even the potential to grow and make money off your podcast on this platform. And they have uh, month to month contracts and there's no commitment. Right. Month to month, no commitment. Some people like that. And then lastly, it has advanced listener statistics that are available at all price tiers. So you get the opportunity to see advanced statistics, advanced analytics. So seeing like where people are listening from, uh, what episodes get the most downloads, different things like that. But it's advanced. So they may even go deeper than that. Like, where are these people located? So that's great to know. And then the cons. Even the paid plans have a storage and or bandwidth limit. So they limit you to the amount of storage that you can have based on your plan. And then the other con was the pricing plans are not all inclusive. There are a lot of add-ons, so it's hard to estimate like a true cost of how much you're going to be paying monthly for this particular platform. Something to consider, right? Something to consider. Next up, next up we have Podbean. And Podbean is some for, for the individual who's looking for like an all around type podcast service, right? To where you don't have to try to find uh, if it's for monetization, if it's for a, a starter or beginner, like you just want it all in one place. So that would be Podbean. And some of the pros would be it has a great design to create a beautiful custom site on Podbean's platform. That's a pretty good feature. Pretty good feature. Um, They also have a huge range of features suitable for beginners and professional level podcasters. I didn't see this on too many other platforms because where you have uh, a a hosting provider that's typically geared towards beginners, it's more so going to have beginner type features, but this one has beginner and advanced. So you can start out here and you can grow or you can already be grown and you can just learn even more, right? Great benefit there. And then they have a well-established and reliable podcast hosting platform. I believe I saw somewhere say that they had like over a half a million podcasts 
posted on their platform. I believe that was what I saw. Mm -hmm. But the cons, there's always cons. So the cons are a free subscription, but has very limited features. And then there's more popular features, but those are only available at the higher price point. So they offer a free tier, but with that free tier is very limited features. And I mean, rightfully so, right? You can understand that, rightfully so. And then uh, lastly, it says some users have commented on Podbean's customer service support being slow, right? So we have to be aware that everybody's not going to perform at the highest level in every category. If it be customer service, if it be customer acquisition, if it be of the platform, the sleekness. So keep in mind these things as you're moving forward, trying to navigate and trying to decide which hosting provider is right for you. Okay. But also I wanted to say an honorable mention, um, cause we talked about bus route being for beginners. And, uh, we even talked about pod being, being for beginners all the way up to professional. I want to also throw out pod pal, right? This is the honorable mention. So pod pal is a, a newer podcast hosting provider. But one thing I really like about PodPal is the way that they set up your show. So it leads you literally step by step through the process of setting up your show. And they even have like a progress bar to let you know, okay, I'm 25% done. Okay. Put in show notes. Okay. I'm 50% done. So PodPal is also pretty neat and it's really beneficial if you're a new podcaster because it allows you to see your progress and see what steps that you haven't completed or that you can still complete. Okay, great. So next up, next up we have, now we're going to introduce two hosting providers that are more so geared towards monetization. The first one up is Red Circle. And the thing about Red Circle is they're pros. Okay. No commitment or contract and you pay when you make money they take a share of the revenue, which isn't, that's not bad. That's not bad because if you're not making no money, they're not taking no money. So that's actually okay. But when you bring in some money through their platform, they're just saying, let me get a finder's fee. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right. Uh, another pro is multiple tools that are designed to help you monetize your content, ads, subscriptions, and cross promotion. So they're giving you three opportunities to monetize your content. That's why they're in our monetization tier here. Okay. And then the last pro is grow your podcast without having to join a network. So red circle understands that in the podcast space, one of the things that said is you need to join a network in order to grow your show. But red circle is saying, no, 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 no. You don't need to join a network but you can grow your show right here on our platform. I respect that. I respect that. One of the cons is there's very limited analytics and you just, it, it, there's very, very limited analytics. You just see the downloads, you just see the revenue and you see the ad statistics, right? So it's not like, not like Buzzsprout where you have detailed analytics, advanced analytics, right? but they're limited analytics. And depending on what business you're in or what model, what, what business model you operate and have, you want to begin to consider, okay, well, considering the fact that I want to see where I'm getting the most downloads from in terms of state, in terms of geographic location, because this could help you determine if you go do a live podcast tour, where should you host the first city? You want to know where those downloads are coming from because you don't want to go to New York when you should have went to New Mexico. So that's something to consider there when we start talking about uh, ad, not ad, but statistics and advanced analytics. All right. So last up on our monetization angle, on our monetization angle, the last uh, podcast that we have here, we're going to talk about is Captivate. Okay. And Captivate, what are the pros of Captivate? So Captivate has a, a good looking podcast player and website layout, right? Those are two, those are two benefits in terms of if you're a creator, you may not want to go pay for a new domain or go pay for a new website. But through Captivate, when you pay your hosting, 
you get the benefit of getting a good looking podcast player and you get a website layout. Another pro is that most of the features are included in all the plans. Uh, on Captivate's on Captivate's site, they actually give you free tools and free resources. They're showing you uh, trainings, but then when you host with them, they give you additional training. I think they call them like study labs, where they're now going in, giving you additional support and additional training on how you can navigate through the site, which once again, extremely beneficial, extremely beneficial in terms of you hosting with them and they make sure that you get an understanding of the platform of the site. So therefore, it's not difficult for you to work through it. They thought of that already. And this is a podcast host provider that was created by podcasters. So they understand. Shout out to Mark, man. Shout, shout out to Mark A, okay? And then uh, the last pro is useful tools to get sponsors, including a sponsorship kit that lets you highlight recent episodes and shows key download numbers. I'll say that one more time. Useful tools to get sponsors, including a sponsorship kit. You don't have to make it. You just can download it. That's a big deal, right? That's a very big deal. Uh, because us as creators, we may be in our biggest element creating, being a talent, not necessarily wanting to do the heavy lifting of putting the graphics together to create a sponsorship kit in Canva or uh, in Photoshop or whatever the platform you may use. They create it for you. And it lets you highlight the recent episodes and shows the key download numbers. So the numbers that sponsors are looking for, okay? And then the con is, some people see this as a con. I don't necessarily see it as a con, but uh, after you get past 12,000 downloads a month, then they increase the fee or the amount that you'll be paying for your hosting. I don't see this necessarily as a con because I understand business. And if I was getting 12,000 downloads and it was costing me $17 a month to host, but then I double my downloads where I'm getting 24,000 instead of 12,000, I think I should be paying double the amount. It, j it just makes sense because I'm taking up double the amount of space on their platform. It makes sense, family, it makes sense. So, so looking at all this information, right? I know I gave you a lot of information to process through and a lot of information to think through, but consider this, consider this. What level are you at? Are you at a beginner stage where you're considering Buzzsprout, Podbean, or maybe even PodPal like I gave the honorable mention to? Or maybe you're somebody further along and you're saying, John, you know what? I want to go with the monetization angle. So I'm thinking like Red Circle, right? I'm thinking Captivate. I'm thinking some of these other platforms that are out here. Where do you fall? For me personally, I'm not at the beginner space. I've been podcast since 2016. So for me, uh, that's going to cancel out Buzzsprout and that's going to cancel out Podbean. Okay. According to my top four here. So now I'm in a space to where you're like, okay, well, John, if you cancel those two out, that's going to leave you with Red Circle or that's going to leave you with Captivate. So where are you going, John? Where are you going? Then I'm going to say, I want detailed analytics. I want detailed numbers. I want detailed specs. So that's going to cancel out Red Circle because uh, I don't want the limited analytics. I want very, very detailed analytics. I want to know where people are listening from. I want to know how many downloads my last show got. I want to know all that information. So without further ado, that now allows me to introduce the hosting provider that I'm taking my talents to. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Captivate. Captivate. And I decided to roll with Captivate because... Um, Captivate is a platform that I really enjoy. I, I enjoy the look of it. It's sleek, right? Uh, I enjoy and I'm enjoying the trainings that they have as well as just all of the benefits that I can leverage on the Captivate hosting platform. I can do pre-roll and post-roll ads without me having to say it in the show. I can just add in the audio, right? Uh, dynamic ad insertion is what it's called. Some of the other platforms have that, but the way that it's set up on Captivate, I enjoy and I appreciate. I can take the links for my show notes and I can even measure 
how many times they were clicked, how often they were clicked, were they clicked, right? Because this is something that's in the platform with Captivate. So I, I'm grateful and I'm glad that I made the decision to now join forces with, with Captivate, right? And if you're somebody who's looking to the next stage, the next play, or maybe you're early in the game, but you're saying, John, I like what you said about Captivate. I want to join up with Captivate too. Hit the link just down below in the show notes in the description. You can hit the affiliate link and you can join on with Captivate. They have a seven day trial. Like, check it out. See if it makes sense for you and join forces. But, family, comment down below uh, what host provider you chose. Comment down below uh, if you're still navigating and trying to think of uh, what host provider you want to roll with. And even if there's others that we didn't mention, I know I didn't mention them all. There are a lot of other host providers. And a lot of them also provide great quality uh, benefits, great quality features, but they just did not make my list this go round. We might do another video, who knows? But comment down below who you chose, what you're choosing, and family, uh, until next time, man, this is Jonathan Jones, and I'm your podcast mentor, where right here on the show, we talk all things podcasting. We're the authority on all things podcasting. All right, family. So until next time, peace and God bless.